today's recipe, we're making tofu tacos. And I'm gonna show you how to make the tofu so that it is more meat-like, so that even your non-vegan friends can enjoy this recipe as well. I'm gonna be adding some corn and some black beans to our mixture, and we're gonna finish it off with some guacamole and cheese. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after our chef joke. So I'd like to start off with a little chef joke for you. Uh, I'll have a second one for you a little bit later in the video. So I tried to find some good tofu jokes for you today, but they were all tasteless. <laughs> we're gonna begin with our tofu. So what I have here is a block of firm or extra firm, whichever you can find, firm is the best really. Uh, and we're gonna take it and we're gonna crumble it in the bowl. And you wanna have the pieces be in a variety of sizes because what's, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna end up cooking this in the oven and that's gonna dry it out. And we're gonna have this variation in sizes of the little crumbles so that the small ones are gonna be more meaty, more chewy, and the bigger ones are gonna be a little more tender and soft like you think of you know, when you're eating tofu. So that's gonna give us a nice little variation in texture that's gonna make it more like real meat. So go ahead and crumble everything in. I did not pat this dry. I just kind of took it out of the container and just drained the excess water off. To the tofu, I'm gonna to add some avocado oil or you can use olive oil if you want. I'm gonna give that a little stir. And to this, I'm gonna add some ancho chili powder and I'm gonna sprinkle it in so that it gets dispersed more evenly. You can get all the ingredients down below in the description of this video. Click down there where it says show more. And if you want, if you don't have ancho chili powder, you could sub in regular chili powder, um, chipotle chili powder, you know, whatever you have. Next, I have some smoked paprika. It'll give it a nice little smoky flavor. And I also have some tamari sauce. This is a gluten-free version of soy sauce. You could use soy sauce if you want. I'm gonna add a little bit of that. And the tofu, as you know, is going to take on all these flavors because it basically has not a lot of flavor in it of itself. I have some ground cumin. and some oregano. We're gonna add some garlic salt to this and a little bit of salt. So we're gonna pour our tofu onto a parchment paper covered baking sheet and we wanna spread it out so that as it cooks, it can actually dry out the tofu. So we're gonna place this into a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 15 minutes, then we'll give it a stir and then return it to the oven for another probably 20 minutes. So now we can start by making some guacamole. So we've got some red onion here, which I'm going to finely dice. Then we'll chop up some tomato into some small chunks. Add the avocado to a bowl. Then we'll add the tomato and onion to the avocado. Give that a little mash. And then of course we want to add a fair amount of salt. We'll blend that up and then it'll be ready for when we put our tacos together. All right, so the tofu's still cooking in there. It's, it's getting close to 30 minutes. And we're gonna do something else here to help make this tofu taste more like meat. So I got some uh, avocado oil here, or you could use olive oil. I'm gonna put my temperature on medium to start. And I've got some diced up mushrooms, just little cremini mushrooms, nothing special, just a little bit of meaty flavor. That's what that's gonna give this. And I did the super fine dice here on these because I like to, uh, you know, have it sort of just mix in and just add the flavor without the texture. So I'm going to saute these for about, you know, five minutes, maybe seven minutes or so. So here's the tofu out of the oven. It took about 35 minutes, 
and you can see the little bits. These little bits are a little chewy. They're a little bit crispy and the bigger pieces are softer. This is what you're looking for right here. So now all we have to do is finish what we have here in our pot with our mushrooms. So I'm gonna add some black beans. I think I told you that earlier in the video. This is some fire roasted tomatoes. Now you could sub out with this uh, some salsa, maybe your favorite salsa, that would work. Here's some corn, organic corn I'm using here. And I'm gonna stir that up. We wanna just heat this through. And then I'm gonna toss in the tofu. And then we're just gonna combine everything so all the flavors can get acquainted and the tofu can absorb it. And this is our filling, our main filling for our tacos. While our tofu mixture is heating up on the stove, we have time for chef joke number two. All right, here we go. What deadly martial arts are soybeans trained in? Tofu. Now let's put some tacos together. All right, I'm using corn tortillas. You could use flour tortillas. You can use Siete has uh, a brand of tortillas that are um, really good. So I would recommend that as well. Whatever you wanna use, it's very customizable. All right, what I like to do is take my tortilla oven, which is what I have here, and I like to use this. Uh, and I put these inside and pop them in the microwave for 30 seconds. They come out tender, soft, and hot. And they stay that way for probably a half an hour. Great for parties and things like that. The other alternative is you could place these in a frying pan, just as simple as that, on the stove, flip them over a couple times till they're hot and they're soft and you're good to go. All right, we got our nice hot, ooh, hot tortillas here. I don't know if you can see them steaming, but they are. Uh, put them into my uh, taco holder here. I have links to the taco holders uh, if you want to check it out. Maybe you wanna get some yourself. If you make a lot of tacos, they're wonderful. They hold things in place. Uh, I have a link for you in my description below the video, so check it out. All right, so here's our tofu mixture with the black beans and the corn and the tomato, everything. It's just amazing. And the texture on these is delicious. Now, all that we have left to add here is our homemade guacamole, which is always fantastic. And I'm using I believe it's called Miyoko's plant-based cheddar cheese to keep this vegan. You can use regular cheese if you want. It's very flexible, like I said, but this stuff tastes pretty darn amazing. If you love Taco Tuesday and you'd like to find some more taco recipes to enjoy on those days, well, I've got a link for you. Click that right over there. That's my playlist, all my taco recipes. Check it out, try some out, and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and if you really enjoyed the video, hit the like button for me. All right, we'll see you next week.